ashamed of God or ashamed of the gospel? Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of The Daily Devo. And don't forget, you can find all of The Daily Devos, along with many other resources, over at my website, www.pastorpete.org. I've been reading today in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, and this one verse just leaped off the page at me. It's verse 8. Here's what it says. So don't be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, or of me, his prisoner. Instead, share in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God. A moment ago, when I asked you if you were ashamed of God or ashamed of the gospel, I am sure your instinctive reaction was to say no. Absolutely not. Why would I be ashamed of God? Why would I be ashamed of the gospel? And yet, if you looked at your life, if you looked at the past week or the past month, in hindsight, I bet there were opportunities for you to share the gospel that you didn't take. Opportunities to share a testimony about what God had done in your life, and yet you didn't speak up. Opportunities to speak the Word of God into the life of somebody else, and yet you pass that opportunity over. We all do it. It happens. We don't have the courage to stand up and do what's right, and that's exactly what Paul is trying to tell Timothy here. Don't be ashamed. Tell people about the work of God. Tell people about what He's done through your ministry and through my ministry. Tell people about the gospel. I want to encourage you today, my friends, don't be ashamed. Tell people about what you've learned in church. Tell people about what you've learned through your quiet times with the Lord. Tell somebody about what God has been speaking into your life. And if you get an opportunity, share the gospel. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ with somebody. Don't be ashamed. Rely on the power of God and know that He will speak through you and do a mighty work if you will just say the words and not be ashamed, but speak the words of true life and the gospel into the life of somebody else. Let me pray for you. Father God, may you give us the courage. Father, may you give us the boldness to speak truth, to be people who are not ashamed of the gospel. Lord, I pray for those who can hear my voice. I know that you have done great things in their lives. Father, I know you're doing great things in their lives right now, and I pray that they would tell somebody about them today. Lord, I pray that they would work that into a conversation. I pray that they would make a phone call and tell a friend, hey, I just got to tell you about what God's been teaching me. Lord, I pray that they wouldn't be ashamed. I pray that they would be instead excited and full of boldness and confidence in who you are, in what you're doing, and in what your word says. May you help us this day to speak truth, to be light, and Father, to be used here in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Don't forget, you can connect with me at pastorpete.org.